Whether you've been frozen for a decade, self-isolating in a bunker since 2020, or you just zoned out there for a minute, one thing is certain, you might have missed some of the latest design trends going on in the world right now. So I'm here to get you up to speed. Look, I'm no genie and I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't predict the future. Because if I could, do you really think I would be here right now? Seriously, if I could predict the future, I'd be on a yacht somewhere as the founder of Gugazon. That's Amazon plus Google combined. And I'd have more Bitcoin than your Gen Z brother-in-law who made millions of dollars selling JPEGs on the internet last year. So this video is less about predicting all of the design trends that are unfolding in 2022, and instead I'll be showing you some of the latest and greatest design trends that will continue to evolve throughout the year. Now let's take a look at some of the graphic design trends that we'll be keeping a close eye on. 3D design. More designers are leveraging 3D tools to come up with attention-grabbing creative. Even if the design is consumed on a flat screen, the actual content is being created and designed in 3D software like Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, and even game engines like Unity and Unreal Engine. One trend we're seeing a lot of is mixing 2D and 3D elements. We'll continue to see this clay style of 3D design that blends really nicely with 2D elements. We're also seeing a lot of 3D typography being used in designs. And as game engines become more and more powerful, we're seeing hyper-realism in 3D designs too. Tools like Unreal Engine are completely free for design projects, giving designers access to tools that were once unimaginable. From metahumans to the massive Quixel asset library, Unreal is giving away so much for free and making it easier than ever to make hyper-realistic 3D designs. Now that's Unreal. The Metaverse. It's clear that the use of 3D design is ramping up quicker than ever, and it seems to be coming from a bigger trend. The metaverse, where the boundaries of our physical and digital lives are increasingly being blurred. Whether you're metaverse adverse or not, it's hard to deny this trend. Ever since Zuckerberg changed the name of Facebook to Meta and pledged to spend millions on building the metaverse, it's all anyone could ever talk about. The metaverse is the proposed future of the internet where instead of looking at a screen to experience the internet, you'll actually be inside of the internet using VR goggles. Remember when your mom told you not to sit too close to the TV? Yeah, well now that TV is strapped to your face and less than an inch away from your retina, so you better be careful. So it's obvious that more of our designs will become spatialized or 3D so that we can more directly interact with designs. So whether it's designing 2D billboards that will live in the metaverse or 3D designs populating the space, we're going to need a lot of good design in the metaverse. That's no question. And beyond the platform shift itself, the metaverse aesthetic is creeping into the mainstream in all sorts of designs. This is manifesting as retro nostalgic designs, we're seeing a lot of this 90s cyberspace type of design that tried to predict what life in virtual worlds might be like in the 90s. Trippy surrealism. Between Gen Z entering the metaverse and millennials dropping acid, it's no surprise that our culture is looking for more ways to trip out. Help your fellow humans have a good trip with a good surrealist design. Bright liquid gradients. Lots of metaverse and crypto companies are using this aesthetic to show off their hypermodernism and attract eyeballs with this candy looking design. It's just so beautiful. NFTs. I couldn't mention the metaverse without blurting out these three letters, NFT. If you somehow made it out of 2021 without hearing the word NFT, then you must have either been living under a rock or going all in on LinkedIn and missed all of the hype on Twitter because these things are taking over the world. For those of you wondering, when I say NFT, I'm talking about non-fungible tokens, not Niagara Falls tourism. I'm not going to get too in-depth on what an NFT or non-fungible token is, so instead you can check out our blog post on NFTs to learn more. But one thing to note is that this blockchain-based crypto art is changing art in the design world as we know it. Digital artists like Beeple are now among the most valuable living artists, and NFT projects like CryptoPunks and Board 8 Yacht Club are taking the world by storm. And this is opening up an entirely new possibility for brands and businesses. From Disney and Marvel to Adidas and Nike, legacy brands are bringing their designs to the metaverse and allowing people to own a one-of-a-kind design that was not possible before the existence of NFTs. We suspect a lot more brands to jump in on this hype and monetize their design in a totally new way. So if you want to try this out for yourself, maybe 2022 is a year that you launch your own NFT. 
more motion design. We know, we know this comes up a lot, but there's a good reason for that. Because between using video and animations, adding motion to your designs is going to make them stand out. So I think a lot more designs will be animated this year. It seems like no one will click on an ad or truly engage with a post that doesn't move anymore. And not only that, we're also going to see a lot more movement make its way into websites, emails, and much more. A few motion design trends to look out for. Mixed media and animated collages. Animated logos. Kinetic typography. Retro slash vintage vibes. Animated grain effects and textures. Morphing and liquid motion. Anti-design. Remember that girl that went viral on TikTok by turning iconic logos into something that your six-year-old nephew could have made? Yeah, well, apparently she started a whole new trend. Seriously, who the hell approved this design? Sadly, it looks like we're gonna see a lot more of this anti-design in 2022. It's kind of like the black sheep of design. It's designers rebelling against all of the fundamental rules of design to make something unique. We're seeing a lot of elements being stretched and grids being broken. By the way, if you're going to try this yourself, make sure that the bad design looks intentional, not like a minor mistake, or like you made a mistake by hiring a miner to design it. Maximalism. Less brutal than anti-design, we're seeing a lot of designs go into this more maximalist area with visual overload. It's all about being bold, colorful, loud, and cramming as much as you possibly can into a given space. The mantra here is more is more. Minimalism. In the complete opposite direction to anti-design and maximalism, we're seeing more and more designs get simplified and minimal. It's all about that beautiful simplicity. This trend is getting very popular with consumer brands who want their product designs and imagery to match the simplicity that their logos convey. It also seems like every company on earth is simplifying their logo. I get it, the more simplified your logo is, the easier it is to remember. But it's starting to look like every chip brand in the world is trying to look like a tech company. And every tech company is trying to launch their own religion. Diversity and inclusion. Design has always been a medium for promoting change in society. Think of Black Lives Matter or the 2008 Obama campaign or the 12-step Korean skincare routine. Companies of all sizes are finally starting to embrace diversity not just in representing more differences among people in their ads and their imagery, but also for the proven business advantages that come from having a diverse team. We're going to see better representation across all dimensions in the photography, illustrations, iconography, and the stock footage that brands use to resonate with their customers. Superside is culturally diverse by design, with over 500 team members across 57 countries and 19 time zones, bringing their unique perspective and inspiration to the creative process. That gives our customers an unfair advantage in producing fresh creative that stands out. Color trends. I couldn't do a trends video without mentioning color trends for the year. And I should probably just start this out by saying Pantone's color of the year for 2022 is very Perry. Okay, wow, that sounds like a candy or like a soda brand or something. Very Perry. Basically, it's just the color Periwinkle, and I'm sure a lot of designers will be leaning towards using that to stay trendy. By the way, you're welcome for not making a Periwinkle joke. And it seems like the larger color trend here is that society and culture is embracing colors that are more calming. And after the last few years that we just had, yep, yeah, we definitely need more calming colors. Aside from very peri, a lot of color palettes we're seeing lately consist of more muted tones. This could also be in response or in opposition to some of the other more intense colors and designs that we're seeing, brought by the bright metaverse aesthetic and those crazy anti-designs. And in addition to muted color tones, we're also noticing designers embrace dreamy, muted color gradients, a lot of the time with a bit of this grain texture. This is giving us more of an organic daydream type of vibe rather than the straight up psychedelic trips that we're getting from the metaverse. Typography trends. And lastly, I couldn't end this video without mentioning some of the typography trends. I already mentioned that we'd be seeing a lot more animated and 3D typography this year, but there's a few other big typography trends making waves right now. The first is this really wide, thick fonts, often with an outlined or stroked version. These thick boys command instant attention and add boldness to the design. The second is more serif and display fonts, some even getting really curly. It seems like a lot of brands now are living out their glory days with thick curly letters that look like they're straight out of the 70s. 
Similar to the serif display fonts, this arts and crafts revival look is starting to show up everywhere, and each of them are as unique as the brands that use them. It's a fresh take on all of the display fonts that have been overused for far too long. Whether you're a designer yourself or a creative leader, just remember, all of these are just trends and you shouldn't necessarily design your creative brief around them just to stay trendy. At Superside, instead of thinking of the latest trends first and then the design second, our designers look at the brief, look at the research and the brand guidelines, then see if any of these trends can or even should be used in the design to make it relevant and stand out. Often, a design trend won't fit a brand guide or even send the right message to the right audience. But sometimes they can be used to help reach the right audience. Like if you wanted to speak to the Gen Z audience, you might want to ride that retro nostalgia wave and tap into the early 2000s technology aesthetic that involves things like iPods, wired earbuds, and baggy jeans. Ugh, never mind, just skip, skip the jeans. Either way, use these trends as a sort of pulse that you can gauge for the year ahead. Often, combining multiple trends or mashing up one of these new trends with an old trend can bring out a fresh new design that'll help you stand out. And by doing this, you might even accidentally create a whole new trend for yourself that other people will follow next year. If you'd like to do some trend mashing or explore some of these trends in your next design project, you might consider using Superside. With Superside, you get access to a team of top designers from all around the globe and a dedicated project manager to make the process incredibly easy. Superside has helped over 400 companies as large as Amazon and Puma unblock their design execution by plugging them into the metaverse. Oh, no, I mean a global dedicated design team with technology that makes briefing and managing projects super easy. Superside has a proven design ops process that holds up against surprise 12 hour turnarounds and big campaigns that require full stack design skills. If you want to take your design output to the next level, go to the link in the description or head over to superside.com to learn more. And subscribe to our channel for more videos on how you can scale your design capabilities and become a more effective design leader.